Do y'all hear it? Do y'all see it? Do y'all feel it? Fall? Is it in the air? Maybe. Just a little bit. Hey you guys, the Doc is Hope here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and having a great week so far. So today I am going to be sharing with you our September pattern haul. Pattern haul. Pattern haul. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I have got five patterns for you guys that I think you're absolutely going to love. I know I always say that because I do believe that you will. Um, I can't wait to share these patterns with you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I can't wait for you to see them. So here we are in September. Fall is right in the distant future, even though it's still hot outside. You know it's coming and before you know it bam it's gonna be here so you guys what better way to celebrate a transition of seasons than to have some transitional patterns right so i feel like these patterns that i'm going to share with you are like right on the cusp of fall early fall so i think it's right on time so let's do it let's get into this pattern haul if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos once a week. All right, you guys. Well, without further ado, let's get into this September pattern haul. All right, you guys. So right out the gate, I'm going to share with you guys um, that I have a lot of different variety today. I have some Vogue, some McCall, some New Look, and some Know Me because these Know Me patterns, y'all, they're looking pretty good. So let's talk about these patterns. The first one that I want to share with you guys is a Vogue pattern. This is Vogue 1848. And this is a bad pattern, y'all. Look at that. Pants love 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 look at that so when i saw these i just thought to myself yep that's a winner that's an, a, an amazing pant love it it looks like they did either a faux leather or a leather here and then not sure what kind of fabric this is but y'all know i love purple uh, so both of these are a high-waisted pant with pockets this one's got like a little ankle detailing here and then this one is just a straight leg. Um, I'm not sure if I would want to do this ankle uh, string part, but without that, to me, these pants are fire, <laughs> fire. Okay, so love, 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 love this guy. So let's talk about it. We have a, an average Vogue pattern. These are your uh, pants that are close fitting, tapered, high-waisted, cropped, and they have waist facings, fly front zipper, side front seams, front pockets, back waist darts, and carriers. So a lot going on on these pants, but they're high-waisted. Ooh, love a good high-waisted pant, love. So your fabric suggestions here are your stretch crepe, stretch leather, stretch sateen. So you're gonna need some give, a little bit of stretch. So I'm um, thinking they did a stretch leather here. So that's very, very cute. You're also going to need some fusible interfacing and a portion of these pants are lined. So you will need some lining fabric. As far as your notions go, you're just going to need one nine inch zipper. So not a whole lot for notions. Um, I love these pants, even looking at the line drawings. So let me show you guys. Let me show you these line drawings up close. So you can see them. I don't think they, yeah, they didn't show the back. So I'll show you the fronts on here and then I'll show you the back on the envelope. So this is the front line drawing of these pants. You have view A here with these ties and then you have view B here with no ties. Um, I like this, not necessarily a fan of the ties, but you can do without those if you decide to. Uh, and then this is the back here. So the back of A and the back of B 
here hopefully you can see that all right so those are your uh, pants which are very very cute in my opinion so if you have not picked up Vogue 1848 for fall what are you waiting for y'all gotta get these these are gonna be cute super super cute okay all right guys so the next pattern I'm going to share with you is a McCall's this is McCall 7974 um, I feel like I've had this dress in my stash for a little while, but I have not sewn it up and I don't know why, because it's really, really, really cute. And I feel like this is like right there on the cusp of fall. Do y'all hear it? Do y'all see it? Do y'all feel it? Fall? Is it in the air? Maybe just a little bit. Anyway, <laughs> um, this dress to me is just very, very cute. I love the button detail down the front. I love how you have like this um, midriff type situation and the V-neck and then like the, the gathering right here at the bust. All of these things just scream, buy me, make me, wear me. And this is a lovely dress. So let's talk about it. Uh, we have view A here which is the short sleeve version, view B, which is long sleeve, view D, which is sleeveless, and then view C has like an interesting like double puff sleeve. So you got some different sleeve options here as well as length variations. This is a button front dress, has sleeves and length variations, fitted bodice with front midriff, back yoke, and gathered skirt with side seam pockets. We got some pockets here, y'all. That's even better. So this pattern is rated easy. The suggested fabrics are your cotton blends, your crepe, your lawn, and your charmeuse. Gotta love all of those. Um, for your notions, A, B, C, and D, you're gonna need 13 half inch buttons. And then for A and D, you're gonna need one package of half inch single fold bias tape because D is going to be sleeveless and A, I don't know what you're going to do with that for A, but you're going to need it. So there you go. Um, and then for C, you're going to need three fourths yards of one fourth inch elastic. And that's actually going to be to do that double puff sleeve that we talked about. You can see it better here in the line drawings. Uh, let me see if I can get those. Mm, they're about the same size here. So here we go. A, short sleeve, back, B, long sleeve, back, C, you see that double puff sleeve? That's where your elastic is coming in to puff or divide that into a puff sleeve here and here. And then D, no sleeves, but it's a longer dress and you also have a collar. So that's really cute actually. All right guys, so I am loving this dress. Uh, again, if you do not have McCall 7974, maybe you'll think about picking it up. Okay, guys, so the next pattern I'm going to share with you is a new look pattern. This is a dress that I think is really, really nice, especially for fall. This is new look 6682. I'm just going to show it to you. Oh, love, love, love. Okay, look at this, you guys. To me, this just screams fall. They even put a fall booty on her because you're ready. Look at this. You got this like mock turtleneck here, mock neck. Um, this is just super, super cute. You have UV here as well, which to me is more like spring and summer, but A, that's fall all day. So I love, love, love this dress, you guys. Um, let's talk about it. You have 12 pieces here. Um, you actually have, let's see, it says seven sizes in one. So the package size ranges from six to 18, which that's very rare, but I like it. Great job. New look your suggested fabrics. You're going to need charmeuse, 
cotton lawn, cotton blends, crepe de chine, double georgette, or shirtings, also your silky types or voil. So you got lots of different options as far as fabric goes. Uh, for your notions, you're going to need thread. And if you're sewing up A or B, you're gonna need one 22 inch invisible zipper to go on the back. And if you're sewing up view A, which is this one, you're going to need six 3 8 inch buttons. Those are going to go on your sleeves. So very, very cute um, dress. Let me show you guys the line drawings here. Let's see if I can open this up. Here we go. So. There. Here are your line drawings. View A, you see the mock neck the gathering here at the bodice, and then that flowiness of the dress with the cuffs here, and then view B is the short sleeve, shorter dress. And then here's the back of both of those. You see your zipper here as well. So very, very cute. Very, very cute, you guys. So I can just see you guys saw shaying down the sidewalk in fall with a nice booty on with your handbag and your sunglasses going to lunch or brunch or wherever you might want to go <laughs> with this dress just flowing in the wind can y'all see it i can see it i can see it so pick up this dress this is new look 6682 super cute all right guys so the next pattern i'm going to share with you is mccall 7900 super cute top which is this um you have multiple views of course view a view b c is not pictured but this is d um really love this top because it's a blouse but then you got like this interesting shoulder ruffle um, different options. You got this short sleeve ruffle, you have this neck ruffle, just all type of different things you could do with this top. So absolutely love that. Again, McCall 7900. This pattern has 14 pieces. It is rated easy. It's actually, um, it comes with cup sizes. Y'all know I love that because I feel like it makes a customized fit. So you have cup sizes A, B, C, and D to choose from. Your suggested fabrics are your cotton blends, your eyelet, poplin, and your denim. So you got different options there. That could be really cute in denim. Ooh. But, okay, so your notions for A and B, you're gonna need four three-fourth inch buttons, and you're gonna need one fourth, one and one-fourth yards of half-inch single-fold bias tape. And then for B, you're also going to need three-fourths yards of three-eighths inch elastic. And then if you're sewing up C or D, you're going to need five three-fourth inch buttons. So you're going to need a few notions if you want to get this done, but it's a very cute blouse at the very end. You're also going to need some fusible interfacing. So let me share with you guys these line drawings, which are here laid out on the front which i love here's a you see it's a shorter uh, like a sleeveless with a um ruffle there's the back and then you have view b which is a short sleeve you have a like a tiny little ruffle at the bottom and the sleeve and the collar lots of ruffles uh, view c you have a longer sleeved top with a really interesting neckline it's like a um, hexagon almost neckline which is cute and then view d is pretty much the same as c except for the sleeve has that ruffle on it at the top i don't know if you can see that hopefully you can see that all right so i love this top you guys very cute i think this is a good one for fall so if you have not picked up mccall 7900 maybe you'll add it to your cart and maybe you'll sew it up. 
All right, guys, so the last pattern I wanna share with you is a Know Me pattern um, by Mimi G. This one is made by Beauty Jador. And this dress to me is just so, 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 so good. And it's just right on time for fall again. So here we go. This is me 2016. Love this dress, you guys. And not even just the color. Like the color is gorgeous here and here with that print. But look at these sleeves, y'all. Look at these sleeves. Look at this skirt. Can you see? Look at the pockets. Let me get closer. Can you see that? That that uh tearing on that skirt? And these sleeves, that's a bad dress, y'all. So let's talk about this pattern. Uh, this is a Mrs. Dress. It is rated easy. Your suggested fabrics are your cotton blends, linen blends, seersucker, novelty sequin, double knit, taffeta, and gauze. You're going to need some lining. You're suggested to have a polyester or a cotton blend lining. And then you're also gonna need some lightweight fusible interfacing. Your notions for A and B are 124 inch zipper that is invisible and 7 8 yards of 3 8 inch elastic. So a few notions that you're gonna need, but super, super cute for this dress, you guys. Um, These know me patterns are newer, but I love them. The designers are great and these patterns are just wonderful. So let's look at these uh, line drawings. You have A here, which again is a uh, shorter sleeve than B. And then it's got that tiered skirt. And then this is the back of both. And then B has a longer sleeve, shorter skirt, uh, but love both of those. So can't wait to make that up um, if you guys do not have this pattern. Again, this is No Me, Me 2016. Definitely pick that up from Beauty Shador. All right, you guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this pattern haul. As always, I enjoyed making this video for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to hang out together and you guys can continue to catch these fun videos once a week. All right, you guys. Well, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you later.